And now to breaking news, a heavy police presence right now in Blue Island after a shooting involving a police officer. Yeah, that investigation is happening near Division and Broadway streets. It's been very busy for a few hours. Let's get right to CBS 2's Mugo Digway live at the scene with this new information. Mugo. Yeah, exactly. As you said, we just learned from state police that there was, in fact, a shooting out here and that it involves a police officer. But the other details, that's what's still not clear right now. It's not clear if the officer shot someone or if someone shot them. But if you take a look at the scene behind me, what you're going to see is this Range Rover SUV. We know police officers have been focused on it. Here's video also showing you that Range Rover SUV. We noticed something about it, and that is that the the, the driver's side window, it is broken. We saw a lot of glass on the ground. Again, as we've said, we've seen police officers going in and out, looking at it, investigating. Back out here live at the scene, what we have noticed is that more police officers still remain out here. There's still police state blocking things off. People waking up, trying to get to work. They can't really get to their cars right now because this is still an active investigation. As we've been telling you all morning, we spoke to a neighbor who says she heard a loud boom. That is what woke her up. She's not sure if that was gunshots, but that noise woke her up. She came out and then she saw an officer being escorted into an ambulance. As for who owns the Range Rover SUV that we've seen police officers going in and out of, that is not clear right now. We don't know if that was possibly the other person involved in the shooting. None of that is clear. But as soon as we have more information, we'll pass it along to you. We do know that the Blue Island police chief is on the scene. So once he gives us an update, you'll have one as well. We're live in Blue Island. Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.